Hey guys, welcome back to the Blackwell Convergence. In the last episode we started off the game and now we are back at the apartment. And would you look at that by the way, how they upgraded the graphics. That's just, that's just really nice I have to say. And well, we are going to take a look with everyone first. But forgetful Rosa, I have a nagging feeling I'm supposed to be doing something. I usually write stuff like this down. Where would I have written it? And I feel like it's somewhere around here. But of course I don't know, so we are going to take a look around first. 12 steps to getting your first novel published. Parts 1 and 2. I never could get past step number 4. Hmm. I've read them all. You did? Okay. We could... It's the front door. Can we leave? I'm ready if you are. It's about time. Let's scram. Uh, but I don't want to, to be honest. Okay, I just wanted to check if we can leave. We can. And we can also check uh, check out what Nishanti is doing, apparently. So we got we are going to do that. But first of all, let's check out the apartment. 7 p.m. The park gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. Uh -huh. What time is it? 7.15. Damn it. She's going to kill me. What's your problem? The gallery opening. Don't you remember... She invited us to go. Us? All right, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. Okay, I'm supposed to meet Dishanti at the park gallery. I have to find the address. I'm already late. Okay. There's nothing else on the calendar. Okay. We kind of knew that. We will look up on the computer where to go, but we're gonna have a look around first, of course. I picked up that clock at a tag sale. It's fine where it is. Okay. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. Those are fine where they are. Hmm, okay. A landline telephone. One of the few left in the city, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Since Joey blocks airborne signals, there's no point in getting a cell phone. Aha, uh -huh, okay, that makes sense. I have nobody to call. I rarely do these days. Okay, so... My computer. Yeah? It's not the latest model, but it does the job. So let's sit on it. And have a look at emails there. Uh, please enter login. Auto login from... Uh, la la la. Okay, we can do this. Dear Rosangela Blackwell from Rel Day Books. Thank you for submitting your rough draft of the devil and the... Uh... Deacon to our editor. Unfortunately, we are not looking for new ghost stories at this time. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Elizabeth Shire, Real Day Books. Uh, from Donald Quentin. Dear Mrs. Blackwell, ju I just wanted to touch uh, to touch base and see if everything was alright with you and yours. My door is still always open if you ever feel the need to chat. All the best. Dr. Donald Quentin, Bellevue Hospital. Okay. Special offer. For all, uh, all your software networking needs, contact Tomo. Maybe this is going to be important later on? Hmm. Uh, NYU Housing Office. Rosangela Blackwell, please be aware that a stay away, uh, that a stay away policy has been put into effect against you by Kelly Hawthorne. Should you harass a few further, we will be forced to get the police involved. Tom Small, NYU Housing Office. And Yuna Lee. Hello, I don't know who you are, but my daughter Susan insisted I contact you. She is home and resting and appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends and nearly her life, and her mental health is fragile. You gnarly. Okay. Polar Bear Publishing. Dear Rosangela Blackwell. Uh, we received your submission of The Devil and the Deacon. Unfortunately, the novels of this sort are not what we are looking for. If you have anything else to share, please contact us. Laurie Clara, Polar, Bo Bo Polar, Bear, Bo 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 Polar Bear Publishing. Oh man. Okay, what about Oogle? We could Oogle. Rosa. Welcome to Rosa. The page is under construction. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can search, we can go for the browser. But I already forgot what we are looking for. Park gallery. Okay, so let's head back and search for park gallery. Here we go. The park gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. Uh, let's go and get this over with. Okay, a new location, the park gallery. I've got the address. I better get over there before Mishanti kills me. 
Uh, the Park Gallery aims to be enrich the oh man, enrich the Chelsea art community by exhibiting local artists, both new and old. The Park Gallery excited to have its first public opening. Claude Erden, a neighborhood street artist, will be making his debut. The Park Gallery is curated by Josie Park. That makes sense. Okay, what, are, what is in the trash can? It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Oh, that's sad. Best place for them. I'm not rooting through my trash. I threw that stuff away for a reason. Okay. Wedding picture. Ah, oh, we knew, we, we, we know that still. I don't want to get fingerprints all over it. Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. Hmm. She looks so young in this picture. More like a kid sister than a mother. Hmm. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. That is sad. Okay, but there's nothing else of interest here, it seems. So that's the wedding picture. What about these newspaper clippings? This was the last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. Yeah. I don't want to mess with it. I was never cut out for journalism. Freshman suicide at NYU campus. Joanne Sherman was an 18-year-old freshman studying political science at NYU. Her sudden suicide this morning has many school authorities asking why. She always had friends around her. R.I. Adrian Tucker said her suicide came as the total surprise. Yeah, this is the first game, so if you want to check that out, you can do so by clicking on my channel and looking through the playlist at point and click. You will find it there definitely. Okay, let's have a look at the books. I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. Hmm. I've read them all. So what else is it? The teddy bear here? It's Griff, the P.I. bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. Hey Griff, how are you today? Fluff all secure? Holding yourself together? Awesome. Hmm. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. I don't know why I even bother remote- Okay. What about this couch? This couch came with the apartment. I have no idea how old it is. I don't have time to sit- We kind of knew that. Yeah, it's fake. But you can hardly tell. <laughs> I don't need to water it. It's fake. It's an African ghost drum. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. It's fine where it is. Okay. What else is going on? It's weird because at the edge here in her aunt's apartment, there it was a balcony, if I remember correctly. Hmm. That's kind of weird, but fine. Auntie Lauren and me on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. Mm -hmm. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. Mm -hmm. Can't check out the skyline? We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's exit then. What else is going on? Ah, oh, the lava lamp. I picked this up at a tag sale years ago. Some people think lava lamps are tacky, but I think they're cool. Mm, they kind of are. It's fine where... Yeah. Let's have a look my at... My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. Yeah, let's go inside. It's too early to sleep. Ah, okay, so we can't do that. That's fine. Let's leave then. Come on, let's get going. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. I wonder if I could have checked out things with Joey too. Yes, we can. That's Nishanti Sharma's place. Mm -hmm. A bit too nosy for her own good, but she's okay. We can. I'm not floating through that door. Why Last not? Last time I did that, her dog nearly had a seizure. Okay. The trash room, I think. Can we enter there? I have no desire to see a bunch of trash bags. I have no idea who lives there. I have no idea who lives there. So you don't want to find out? Okay, sure. Can't go there. So I guess we just go through to the I elevator. I can't open it. Okay, we will have to go to 
Rosa for that then. Uh, Park Gallery, Blackwell Residence. So we're going to go to the gallery, of course. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great! But I'm sorry, I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma? Is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Nish. Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's alright, Josie. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so we are going to have a look around, of course. We could... I shouldn't leave yet. Yeah. I just got here. Okay, so this is just for leaving. Let's have a look at this painting. It looks pretty abstract. Can I we... don't think Josie would like that. Yeah, we can't take it, of course. These paintings look like part of a set. These paintings look like part of a set. Mm-hmm. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. Mm-hmm. Really bold lines. This would look great in my bedroom. Because of the bold lines? What happens if we switch to Joey? Do people really pay to look at this stuff? Will you say that about every painting? What an eyesore. Okay, he hates that. He really does. They call this art these days? I know what I like, and I don't like this. And if we want to talk to Rosa... I think we've seen enough. Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, we haven't talked to Nishanti yet, though. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. These look like... Mm -hmm. These look like... This painting is called The Dark Lady. I don't think Josie would like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess it's time to... That's Josie Park, the gallery's curator. Yeah, we're gonna talk to her. She seems nice enough. Yeah, let's talk to her for a bit. Hi there. Josie Park, was it? Yep, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name. Anyway, nice to meet you. Hmm, ask about the gallery. So, are you Josie Park, as in the Park Gallery? Yep, this place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but... It's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof, <laughs> we're open. Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. <laughs> uh, compliment the gallery. You have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. You like them? Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. He's convinced that nobody will understand his work. She said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. Wow, that's rude. Ask about Nishanti. So, you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? Isn't she marvelous? She comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. Mm-hmm. Say hello to the artist. So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery? I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. Yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. Mm-hmm. Hi we... again. Hi, Rosangela. Well, I'm going to look around. Sure. Okay, we can't talk to them in that manner anyway. Okay, that's fine, though. It's a little rude, and we're not going to talk to Nishanti immediately, but we are going to She's have a She's in deep conversation with Nishanti. Yeah, we're going to talk to her first. Hi, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. Hmm, apologize again. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. Hmm, ask about friend. So who's your friend? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. This is Monique Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rosa. The one I was telling you about. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I'm hardly famous. I haven't had anything published yet. 
She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. I wouldn't call it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. Hmm, ask about story. I would like to hear the story, actually. See? I told you. Well, all right, but let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We can discuss it in private. Thanks, I'll drop by. Monique Stallman. Shanti's friend Monique said she had a ghost story and to visit her in the morning. Uh, thank for the invite. Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. Ask how she's doing. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more. Although this weather isn't making it easy. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. So that's all we can do, right? Hi, Nishant. Hello, Ro I think I'll... Sure. Yeah, okay, that's all we can do. Let's talk I to Joey. I can't talk to Joey here. I'll wait until we're alone. Okay, if that's the case. So we do have... Chatting with these people. Coming here was a bad idea. I don't feel very comfortable chatting with these people. Nishanti's friend Monique said, yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so I think we can leave now? <coughs> Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... Oh, okay, we still have... Oh, okay. We triggered we an event. We were just about to get started on the wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well... Please stay. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Hmm, okay, let's stay Okay. Then. Wonderful. Fantastic. Lush life is an achievement, on, okay? Josie. There's five of us here. That means it's a party. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> oh my head. What happened? How did I get here? Okay... There's the portal... Any Anything new on the... Okay, nothing new here. All we can do is... Okay... Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Who are you? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will meet again soon. Continue your sleep. You will forget me when you wake up. What? Your time will come soon. Oh. I just pray that you are ready. Oh, what? 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 What is what? You're kidding, right? Well, look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Blech. Clear the cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know. Okay, so we are supposed to pass by Monique. But before we do that... It's too early. Yeah, it's too early to sleep. But since we're here with Joey, let's have a look at everything. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? She picked this up at a flea market a few weeks ago. She only played it once, then shoved it up here. She looked disappointed, but she didn't tell me why. <laughs> I don't know what possessed that woman to play tourist. Going all over the city, trying to get that sullen kid to open up. I told her it was a bad idea, but she was stubborn. For all the good it did her. Hmm, look at that little rug rat. If she knew the trouble she was causing, she didn't show it. There I am, sitting on the sidelines. Alright. I've got no interest in that thing. I saw these things come into style and then go out again. I didn't get it then, and I don't get it now. I remember when her aunt bought this for her. Was it almost 30 years ago? Jesus, I'm surprised it lasted this long. I've never met anyone who read this much. No wonder she needs glasses. Can we go through the door? I don't enter a woman's bedroom uninvited. At least not a woman I live with. The bedroom door. Okay. This is called a remote control. 
She says it's supposed to turn on that television from far away, but I've never seen it work. Just an old couch. It's full of trash. What do you expect? A bunch of newspaper articles she wrote for a local rag. Her boss was a real piece of work. I'm glad she quit that gig. It's a telephone. These things get smaller every year. <laughs> a tacky clock. All right, I lied. Sue me. All right, I lied. Sue me. Okay, I don't understand why he does say that, but whatever. She reads them faster than I can count them. If this is the best the kid can do, she's lucky I turned up. Hmm, okay. Look at her, all smiles. Was she really so happy? Or did the camera just catch her at the right moment? It was so long ago, I don't remember. She dragged me out to that wedding, and I wouldn't let her forget it. Seems kind of frivolous now that I think of it. I never saw Maria much, but she was all right. She liked to cook, is all I really remember. I never saw Jack much, but he was a good kid. Smart, read a lot. I guess that's where Red gets it from. Hmm. Okay, so we have looked at everything, I guess, except the computer. I can't make heads or tails out of that thing. Fortunately, I can't use it anyway. Okay. Come on, let's get out of here. Hmm? You say something? Okay, so... Come on, okay, it's... I forgot... Take a look at the TV. I can't think of anything I want to watch. With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Uh -huh. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I got cable installed last month. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Okay. Uh, we wanna... Wait, Monique's car. I know that area. That's Astor Place. Okay, does, uh, does Monique have a real ghost story, or are we just chasing shadows? Either way, can't hurt to check. So we are going to go there, definitely. And I had to look it up on her card, it seems. It's a paper clip. Good for clipping papers, as well as picking locks. Okay, alright, so let's leave here then. Let's go. It's about time. Let's scram. I have no idea who lives there. Yeah, me neither, and I, I want to find no out. Idea who lives there. Yeah, but I want to find it's the out. the trash room. Can we enter there? Yes, we can. There's nothing in here but trash bags. But there must be a reason this is here, so we will need that at some point, it that seems. That apartment belongs to Nishanti Sharma. She's nice, I guess. She is nice? What are you talking about? Let's pay a visit. Nishanti isn't home. Okay. That means we are going to go to Michelle. What's her name? Come in. Oh, a black cat. Hi, Did you see Monique. That? Oh, hello. yeah, there. you're Nishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer. Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. All right, so we, of course, are going to be rude and have a look around first. A poster. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. Mm -hmm. I'm not stealing Monique's things. Mm, you will at some point. I'm pretty sure of that. Those account books go back at least two years. I can't imagine being that organized. I can't think what we'd need them for. Not yet. I can't talk to Joey here. I'll wait until we're alone. Okay. Let's have a look at the window. Nice view from up here. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Mm-hmm. Nice view from up here. Please don't close the window. Okay. Let's wait for the cat. Okay, we can't interact with the cat. Monique looks pretty cool and confident behind that desk. So let's talk to her then. Ask about her job. So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. <laughs> uh, ask about cats. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Mm-hmm. Ask about ghost stories. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. 
Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. Mm, you know the story? You don't know the story. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He oh. died while filming his last scene. Oh. It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him calling me. Really? It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Hmm, new location. Gothic Bridge Central Park. Today isn't the nicest day for a stroll in the park, but it's not exactly a social call. Alright, so... Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Okay, that's everything we can do here. We can't talk to Joey, so let's just leave then for the time being. And go to Central Park. There he is. Damn it, where is that woman? Okay. Is that right? We can no, exit. Wait, I know this. Aimless hum. Okay, Damn this it, is. Where is that woman? This is a job for Joey. All right, Joey. Let's go. Hello. Oh, hey, you with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Hmm. Frank Lyons. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. <laughs> Frank Lyons, heart attack. Well, it looks like Monique's lead paid off. She told us that Frank Lyons died of a heart attack while filming his last scene. Hmm. Ask what he's doing. So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. Mm-hmm. Ask about location. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. Mm-hmm. Uh, qualify statement. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Mm -hmm. Ask about his memory. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... Hmm. Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah, I was there. I'm always there. Minetta. Frank's ghost mentioned a place called the Minetta. We will have to look that up on the computer, I guess. Try and tell him the truth. Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. Mm-hmm. Discuss notes. Park gallery. Hey, have you ever been to the park gallery down at Soho? No, sorry. I've never heard of it. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? Mm-hmm. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's got to be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Mm-hmm. What about Minetta? Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? Like you... oh, never mind. Hmm... strange. Well, see you around. Sure, bye. 
Okay, let's talk to Not Rose. Not to interrupt, darling, but let's talk. Yeah, let's talk to Rose Rosangela for a yeah, second. Yeah, Joey? Here. Chat with her. Talking to this guy is like talking to one of them schizos. You mean multiple personality disorder? Yeah, you think he's one of those? Could be. It would explain a lot. Two spooks for the price of one. Fantastic. Mm hmm. Let's discuss the nodes. That gallery won't forget you in a hurry. Don't remind me. What got into you, anyway? I just felt uncomfortable. I thought it would relax me. They all seemed so sophisticated. Don't envy that crowd, kid. It's all phony anyway. I do kind of agree, though. You know, I think that Monique lady is pretty suspicious. Oh, really? Oh, yes. We should get back to her office and examine her very closely. Examine her, huh? Or better yet, you stay out in the hall. I'll go in and uh, poke her out. I don't think so. Hmm, okay. Since she said I don't think so, I don't think that we can do it. So who is Frank Lyons anyway? I'm afraid I'm not up to date on pop culture. He's a movie actor. Big? Not really. I don't think he would have been as famous if it weren't for the news reports. Fame after death, huh? Lucky guy. Minetta. I wonder what it could be. Do you have a phone book? Phone book? Who uses a phone book anymore? Sorry I asked. Hmm, okay. So... We chat. We finally get to go to the park and the weather is miserable. At least there's nobody around. That's true. Well, okay. let's get back to it. Yeah. Alright, so let's... As much as I'd like to, I can't leave without her. Yeah, we what have... What about me? What about Hello, Frank? Oh, hey. Uh, we have nothing new, though. I... Mm. I... Oh, well. Just one minute. Yeah, a minute. Okay, the f yeah. Okay, we have that. Like so... Oh, I'm just... Oh, come on. I don't, I'm not in the magazine. magazine. I just want to finish what I still... Okay. Anything else you can... Not really. I just hope we're so close to finishing. Yeah, we had all of this. Okay, say well, goodbye. Sure. Uh, let's what do you mean? Switch no. to what do you Los Angela, mean? and I think we will have to look up uh, what that Minetta thing is. Is Nishanti back? Nishanti isn't home. No, she is not. Okay, but that's fine. Let's get in here and let's look up Minetta. Aha, uh -huh. the Minetta is a tavern in the East Village. It's not too far from my place. Minetta Tavern, serving the West Village for over 60 years. Uh, 58 McDougal Street. Hmm, do we have new mail? No. Can we do something about this? I don't think so. Okay, if that's the case, then I don't care that much about that. I'm ready if you are. Alright, I'm coming. Okay, can we talk to Joey here? Let's talk, Joey. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh huh. Chat this with him. is taking forever. Yeah, how about that? I have an idea. How about pushing the button? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay, plan your next move. So, what move. should we do now? We should probably learn more about this Frank Lyons guy. Where do movie stars hang out anyway? He's not much of a star, Joey. Right now, he's not much of anything. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, we have to. What do you think the Minette is yeah. like? We're not gonna find out just sitting around. Let's that get is a move true. On. Okay, okay, so, sorry, sorry, so I just that's wanted to see. That's all for now. Sure. Yeah, that's all for now. So let's go to the Minetta. Where is it though? There is the Minetta Tavern. And here we are. Alright, guys, but we are nearing the end of the episode mark, and I think this is a nice spot to do so if you wanna know what this tavern has in stock for us. You'll have to tune in next time for. The Blackwell Convergence. See you then.